To study ecosystem change in California and elsewhere, you really need data at different periods of time. So the collections that we have here at the Academy provide oftentimes the only data about where species were historically. We have the largest vascular plant collection in the western part of the United States. Pictura is part of the Thriving California Initiative, which aims to regenerate the natural world. The first step for this is to utilize the past, as in our preserved specimens, to understand the history of botany in California. Ultimately, what we're shooting for is a fully digital recreation of the specimen itself. So an image of the specimen, but also a digital transcription of that collection label and the geocoordinates of collection. We have a million specimens to transcribe, so we need everybody's help. That label transcription and the georeferencing is going to happen with another collaboration with a group called Notes from Nature. So this is an amazing opportunity for us to engage with community scientists and ask them to help us. It'll take all of that metadata and put it in a database so we could look at things like ecologically important areas that might need conservation. In order to even talk about regeneration, we need to understand what we're, we are regenerating towards. Some other projects include understanding how grasslands have changed in California and understanding how conifer forests in California's Sierra Nevada mountains have changed over the last hundred years. These data will directly inform our understanding of what these will look like into the future. This is really exciting to do with plants because they are the foundation of ecosystems. When something happens to the plants or the community of plants in a given habitat, there will be repercussions for all of the other organisms that exist in that habitat. We can't know for sure what's going to happen. These collections are one of the best tools we have to inform our predictions of what might happen. The California Academy of Sciences has the opportunity to really be a leader in making available the immensity of biodiversity data that's housed within these walls. Digitizing records like this will empower people to understand the history of their landscape, which will help people contextualize what our landscapes look like today, which ultimately will help us to imagine the different pathways we have for the future.